Oh, where to begin? <laughs> well, we'll start with this. Because believe it or not, this is the top story right now. If I can find it. Matt Cardona. <laughs> Matt Cardona is the new GCW World Heavyweight Champion. Cardona defeated Nick Gage on the first night of Game Changer Wrestling's homecoming event at the Showboat in Atlanta City, New Jersey. The finish of the match had Ricky Shane Page come out and at first helped even things out by taking out the 440H stable that had surrounded Gage at ringside. 440. However, yeah, same thing. However, RSP then turned on Gage, allowing Cardona to attack Gage with a light tube, and he pinned him following the radio silence. After the match, the irate crowd began throwing garbage, striking Cardona as he held up the title. Gage had held the title since April 9, when he defeated Ricky Shane Page, a GCW event. Cardona and Gage have been feuding for the last month, and uh, the w- and away we go. So, w- where to begin here? First off, yes, well, we'll get to that in a moment. Did you guys see Dave's tweet? Because that's kind of the news today, believe it or not. I'm going to try and find it here. Let's see where it is. This actually wasn't a story until moments ago, and I'll tell you why it's a story here in a moment. Here we go. I'm sure, Dave writes, that people will make their lame excuses for it or say how great the heat was, but this crowd reaction was such BS and such an embarrassment to the industry. 14 hours ago, Dave Dave wrote that. Because what happened was when Matt Cardona won the title, suddenly the fans just start throwing and they're pelting the ring with garbage and there's trash in the ring and he's covered with blood and they're screaming. And I, I can't say it's a riot, but it's like it appears to be mostly, you know, plastic empty water bottles and stuff like that. But they're pelting the ring with garbage. And I have been told, I guess, is it true there's a GCW shows going on today? Yes, the part two of Homecoming is taking place as okay, we speak, well, yes. Well, at, at part two of Homecoming, I am told that there, I can't even say it on the air. Even though we're on Sirius Satellite Radio, we're also on the regular radio, so I can't say what they're they're chanting, but you can fill in the rest of the letters. There's F. Dave Meltzer chants going on at this show. Well. GCW has already produced a shirt with Dave's tweet that is being sold. Obviously, uh... Apparently, it's a it's a controversial tweet. So here's my thoughts, everybody. And uh, and I have I have I have I won't talk forever, but I have a few things to say. First off, if you're mad at Dave for his tweet, the fact of the matter is that everybody has a right to their opinion. And if Dave thinks it's total BS what the fans did, Dave has every right to that opinion. Now, here's the thing with throwing things into the ring. Okay. If you look at what happened at this GCW show, let's break down what happened, okay? What happened was, you had a man in Nick Gage, a folk hero, a cult hero, a man who once robbed a bank without a mask, a man who once died during a death match, was brought back to life and wanted to go back and continue the death match on his deathbed. A man who ended the career of Brian Alvarez, Nick Gage, was your GCW champion. Who was he facing this weekend? Well, quite frankly, everyone, he was facing the woo-woo guy. He was facing the former Zack Ryder. So, when you think about it, when you think about what we had here, which was which was a, a, a folk hero to the GCW audience facing the woo-woo guy, and the woo-woo guy is going to beat Nick Gage and win the GCW world title, I regret to have to say this, but how could you expect any different than what we got? Am I wrong? No. Now, here's the thing with throwing things at the ring. I understand what Dave's talking about, Okay. I understand that when you do something like this, there probably is the expectation that these fans are going to think that they're part of the show and they're going to throw their empty water bottles and and they're going to, to do their low-level worked riot because they're so angry that Nick Gage lost to the woo guy, okay? That's all fine and good. But you can have 400 people in the building 
And 399 of them are, I don't know if playing along is the right word, but, oh, I got an empty water bottle. I'm going to throw that at this thing. Oh, I've got, uh, you know, a styrofoam cup. I'm going to throw that full of water or whatever. You got 399 people doing that at a show, but guess what? You got one guy, and maybe he throws a battery, all right? You guys know uh, uh, Pirata Morgan, guy with the eye patch? You know why that guy has an eye patch? Because he was in the ring, and some fan threw like a peso at him and uh, took out his eye, blind for the rest of his life, because he got hit by something that a fan threw. So I, I cannot advocate for fans throwing things at the ring. I can't advocate it because you just don't know if some guy gets really, you know, maybe he really didn't like Zack Ryder. And maybe he got really angry <laughs> and he throws, God only knows what he throws. It's a bad, it, it's, you don't want fans throwing stuff at the ring. You don't want to set the precedent that when you do a heat finish, fans are going to throw stuff into the ring. Because you just don't know what's going to be thrown. So the people that are really angry at Dave... Dave has everyone's best intentions. He has the best intentions of Nick Gage. He has the best intentions of Matt Cardona. Nick Gage still in the ring. You start throwing stuff at the ring. He's flat on his back looking up at the lights. Some gets him in the eye, something whatever. You don't want to you don't want to hurt these people because you're playing along with the heat or whatever. So I understand what Dave is saying here. I don't think the people should be angry at Dave for it, but as as far as like <laughs> what what a time to be alive. Matt Cardona beating Nick Gage for the GCW title in Nick Gage's own style of match. Welcome to 2021, everybody. I mean, the story itself, the outcome, I thought it was absolutely awesome. Throwing stuff at the ring and putting someone's life in danger. If you want to get mad about that, you have every, you have every right to get mad about it. Because people have legitimately gotten hurt when things like that have happened. But uh, I'm sure the argument from most people is that we weren't throwing anything. We were throwing plastic, empty bottles, whatever. But you just never know. So that's my take on it. And I was, I was, uh, I was greatly amused by the finish. How about that? By the finish. And uh... <laughs> one sec, Max. I've got a zoo Are you in a over here. farm now. or what's going on? Might as well be. Hang on, I got to get rid of this dog. Holy smokes! <laughs> We're gonna find out a lot about Andrade with these three matches, and I hope they're yeah. great. Right, dog? So, we're not looking for a five-star match. We're looking for Max. Sit. You shaking your fist at the dog? No, it's one of the hand gestures that they taught us to to get, to get him to sit when he was in training. I it's see. Just... If you enjoy these videos for just seven dollars and ninety-nine cents per month. You can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.